dealing with citrus pests and diseases, it's not only the problem. The main problem is finding the right treatment. And this is the most valuable information that you need to know right now. Stay tuned. Hello happy YouTubers, this is Marcelina. In this episode, I'm going over 12 most common pests and diseases that can destroy your citrus trees if left untreated. And if you stick around, I will provide you the right treatment to treat these problems. So here are the most common pests and diseases that can do a significant damage to your tree and how to treat them accordingly. Coming up. There are 12 most common pests and diseases that can destroy your citrus tree and if left untreated, you will end up having a dead citrus. I'm not kidding. Your tree will die if the infestation is too much because they will suck the life force of your plant. Now the number one most common pest that you will see on citrus and brings a significant damage to your tree is Planococcus citri, which is also known as citrus mealybugs. Now many gardeners found mealybugs hard to control and manage. And how is that? Why is it hard for you to get rid of mealybugs? Here is the main reason why. Mealybugs have their natural self-defense mechanism and their body is covered with this sticky substance or sticky filaments. It's, it's a white filament that covers the body to protect them from predators and chemical spray. Second reason, mealybugs tend to colonize in protected areas like you will see mealybugs in between stem and leaves and you will see mealybugs in the lower surface of the leaves and sometimes you see mealybugs in fruit when the fruit touching to one another so they have their way of hiding that's why it is hard for you to spot them until you realize your plant has this huge infestation now another reason why it is hard to control and manage is that the mealybugs get extra protection from the ants so they form an alliance with the ants the ants will protect the mealybugs from the predator in an exchange of hando so if ants and mealybugs if you see ants and mealybugs in your garden you are in trouble because this is getting a little bit harder so you're dealing with ants you're dealing with mealybugs and then you are dealing with sooty mold because a honeydew creates mold which uh, you know attract also attracts ants and there are two forms of mealybugs one is the root forms and the other one is the aerial forms so in the root forms this is a rare cases but sometimes it happens that mealybugs will live in the soil and they will damage the root system of your root of the of the tree so you will notice that the, your tree is declining in health and you notice the leaves turning yellow will drop down and uh, the, eventually in the in the long run the tree will die if you don't treat them right away Sometimes uh, you mistreated, some of the uh, gardeners mistreated this, this problem because they thought that the yellowing of the leaves and dry, uh, I mean, the yellowing of the leaves and falling off the ground is improper watering. But actually that is uh, the cause of mealybug infestation. So if, if that hap if it happens, if you have mealybug infestation that damages the root, so what you will need if the infestation is there you have to remove the tree and check the root system and examine how far is the damage because if it is too much damage it takes a while for the for the tree to recover and then you soak the root in peroxide because peroxide has a tendency to il to help the to cure the root system that is being damaged by the mealybugs and also once it breaks down in the soil the uh, hydrogen peroxide gives extra oxygen atom so two molecules of oxygen atom so, and then replace the soil so make sure that there is no infestation going on and put back your citrus and you can also uh, use a uh, name and I will show you later on this video on how to apply Asatec plus or Asatec to uh, treat or prevent mealybugs in the roots now in the leaves, if you see mealybugs in the leaves, you can apply if it is least infestation, plants can tolerate. 
you just spray with alcohol, rub, uh, rub with the Q-tip or Q-tip or tissue. If you have tissue, then just remove that. And uh, Asatec Plus is the number one best effective in killing the millibugs. Once you spray the millibugs, it kills instantly. And I'm going to show you how to apply this product because some species have different life cycle. If you don't know the life cycle, your your treatment it I mean it affects your treatment because you would not be able to treat the problem properly. The second pest is Cocos hispiridum, which is also known as brown sub scale. So there are different types of scales and I will talk about the brown scale. Now brown scale will uh, attack to this, you know, to the plants, especially the young, uh, young plants. And you will notice the scales covers in the stem, and it looks like a bump and form a crust. And this is also the same as the mealybugs. It will take out the juice of your tree, causing your tree to dry out. And if you don't remove those uh, scales, your plants will be uh, de uh, declining because they cannot uh, because the another common pest on citrus is Taiso noctera which is also known as citrus trips now dealing with citrus trips can be frustrating different trips species feed mostly on plants by puncturing and sucking up the contents now trips are tiny orange or yellow pale insects that attack a variety of fruit trees they tend to attack young plants and the leader eggs in the fall. Uh, by the spring, these hungry juveniles or crawlers feed on the new growth of foliage. Now, the first sign you will notice that uh, shriveled leaf, uh, leaf buds, and cord, and also distorted leaves uh, found a uh, slippery appearance. And you will notice escaping and streaking on the fruits. Now, what I have done when I have the infestation of trips, I spray with Asatec Plus and Asatec Plus as I mentioned earlier in this video it treats more than 200 uh, sucking pests or 200 pests in the garden and it is the uh, right treatment to use when you have this problem and also you can uh, plant geranium and I recommend two plants here geranium and marigold because geraniums will deter pests like termites uh, you, it deter uh, aphids, white flies, and other uh, flying insects. And I love this geranium. This is apple blossom or rose bud. As you can see, it's beautiful. The flower is like a rose. And this is another uh, geranium. This is a regular geranium. So I mostly place a lot of geraniums in my citrus next to it, as you can see. And I have this queen geranium look at that it's beautiful so if you guys need geranium this uh, rosebud uh, check the link description below so those are the pests that come on to citrus another pest that you will notice on your citrus is dialurodes citri which is also known as white flies now white flies you will see when you shake the leaves or the, the branch of the tree, you will see all these white flies coming out. And they damage your citrus by uh, sucking the uh, foliage and they puncture the foliage once they are in that stage. Now, they are really annoying. I would say they are really annoying. <laughs> they are tiny insects, measure about one inch in length, and it is typically found on the underside of your citrus trees and uh, in your citrus leaves and that's what I said if you shake the branches you will see tons of them now it's easy to control you can uh, I would say blast with a uh, water hose that's what I do here in my garden I hose them and some of them you can control them by doing that and if it is uh, too much then you can spray with pesticide
So number number 11 is Dapturti citri, which is also known as Milanos. Now, Milanos is a fungal disease that affects young fruit trees or citrus, uh, citrus fruit trees, especially grapefruit. So if you grow grapefruit, you are more likely to have uh, infection of Milanos. And this is the Milanos causes scab fruit rind and it doesn't affect the fruit quality. It is just unpleasant fruit appearance. This infection is usually worse in uh, fruit trees that are 10 years old. So you might need to remove any dead, uh, dead branches because this uh, disease tends to uh, grow or propagate in dead woods. Now, another problem is the citrus canker. I think this is the most deadly, <laughs> I would say deadly, of all the <laughs> common <laughs> diseases because it, it really kills your plant. So if you have a huge infestation on this type of problem, I would say just remove the tree and buy a new one because it is. It doesn't survive if it if the infestation is too much. Now the citrus canker is one of the known deadly diseases that we gardeners fear on. It is highly contagious bacteria disease, but uh, caused by bacteria Santomonas, Santomonas axonopodis. And uh, citrus canker leads to yellow, yellow halo like lesions on the fruits and leaves and twigs and tree. <laughs> and it is if it is uh, left untreated it spread and citrus canker causes leaf loss or blemish fruits and even the death of the tree so this is what I uh, have uh, mentioned here while there are so many citrus problems that we gardeners trying to resolve I would say just maintaining the citrus health uh, reducing the pest infestation and the severity of the disease is very important now citrus is more susceptible uh, in pests and diseases when they are under stress. Now plant stress happen during transplanting, heavy pruning, improper watering, nutrients deficiency and correct pH. So keep your plants under uh, low, uh, low stress because especially I notice it try your plant without watering for a couple weeks and see what will happen. I would, uh, you will notice that these mealybugs will attack your plants because they are vulnerable in that time. So always uh, maintain hygiene because that's another uh, problem that the spread of spore comes from unsterilized tools that you use when you do your pruning. So always do a clean up, especially during spring clean up uh, any dead branches or any fallen leaves because they will attract uh, fungus disease. Is the information helpful? Hit subscribe guys, like and share it with friends. So extra information I'm going to show you how to apply Asatec Plus. This is the right treatment in killing mealybugs. It kills the mealybugs right away. You should try it and see the result. Now keep in mind that different species have different cycle you have to know the cycle in order for you to treat them properly and some of the bugs have short cycle while others have long cycle and if you don't complete your treatment in that cycle then it comes back again especially mealybugs mealybugs have a tendency to uh, live in two months and then it will continue to reproduce and they can even produce eggs without mating so that's why it is difficult to kill them but using Asatec Plus it kills right away because when you spray you will notice that the mealybugs turn brown it removes that coating their protection that protects them from chemical spray so Asatec will remove that and then they become vulnerable and die instantly so if you have a mealybug going on or any like fungus gnats going on in your in your citrus you can use azatec this azatec is great in treating fungus like greasy spot you just need one half of this and then mix in a quart of water and spray your your citrus completely top to bottom and if you have infestation mealybugs in the soil or any crawlers found in the soil that damage your citrus root system you can use one teaspoon and mix it in a cart and then water your tree this is going to help eliminate that uh, fungus or eliminate the uh, mealybugs that is 
that are present in the soil. So use one this one at best. Now here's the thing on how to apply the this uh, acetic. Now if you have an infestation like spider mites or not spider mites, maybe spider mites or bud mites <laughs> or mealybugs. I would say mealybugs because mealybugs is the hardest to control. So if you are using acetic, for example, day one you have an infestation, you notice that there is infestation in your plants, uh, like citrus, or for example. If you spot with mealybugs, don't let it overrun your citrus because you have a hard time. You have to inspect daily of your plants. So it's a continuous process of managing. Like for example, if you have citrus and when you apply the acetic plus the first day, you spread, all right? You spread the thing from top to bottom. This is going to kill and sometimes if you see in the uh, purchase, you have to spread directly onto the mealybugs. Now, after you spray, the following day, you spray it again. The same thing, you spray directly to the bugs until the coating is removed. The following third day, you do the spray again. Now, after three days of spraying, these bugs are already dead. Now, once they are dead, the mealybugs the mealybugs are dead you're going to rinse the plant and why are you doing that by rinsing the plants removes all those dead dead uh, insects or pests because if you keep it in there you might have another problem because some other insects probably go down there and devour those <laughs> dead uh, dead pests and then it might injure the tissue in your citrus and then create another disease so that's what I, I do when I use the uh, treatment. So I spray three times, uh, three days in a row. And then after three days, I shower the tree. Now I clean everything. If there is mold, I will spray with water. Now it's clean, all right? Now you cannot expect that there is no infestation going on. There might be something eggs in there that you haven't covered with the acetic. Now in the fourth day, uh, seven days you might inspect your your tree and then give another treatment so you cover that in the seven days then after seven days you continue because they have like two months period of cycle they have this two months cycle so within that cycle you don't you don't leave your citrus with acetic until the cycle is completed because if you stop the the treatment in that that the cycle is not finished yet then they will come back again it's almost like taking antibiotic if you don't finish this antibiotic it hits you back and it gets worse so the same thing does that take so two months in that two months period of the cycle you spray it again you don't have to spray every day but you continue that maybe once a week you continue your spray as you can see I don't see any mealybugs in my in my greenhouse using the acetic so you just spray like that even if there is no mealybugs you, you already controlled it but just to make sure that there is no legs uh, no not legs <laughs> eggs what's wrong with me <laughs> no eggs <laughs> so you do that now within so within those uh, weeks then you you do the watering splashing you know clean up i i like to clean up the leaves because especially if there is sooty mold that is another uh, fungus disease that causing the decline of your plants and then the sooty mold distract the photosynthesis so your plant would not be able to photosynthesize if there is a lot of mold so what i would do you spray with acetic plus and then rub those mold and that would take care of the problem so use this one three straight spraying the acetic plus and then you leave another few days what you do is just rinsing rinsing your plant make it sure it's clean and then it's, it's just maintaining it until two months of the cycle once the cycle is complete you should not have problems of your citrus or any plants you have infested by mealybugs so you should not be you should be mealybug free and if there is again then spray it again because this one would kill instantly so that is what i would do when you treat so this is very effective this is the right treatment to treat mealybugs and the bud mites and azatec is is a spray it's a natural spray that's supposed to help controlling more than 200 pests 
in the, in the plants. And this is very uh, effective in controlling fungus, so use this, and in this one is for the pest. And I will link this product below this video, guys, so just check the link description. So this is for today, let's wrap up. <laughs> thank you for watching, guys, and thank you for sticking all the way to the, to the end of this video. So see you next time. Marcelina here at CashewBeans.com.